I'm out here on our property in late March in Minnesota. I'm clearing a bunch of sumac and buckthorn from once, from what was once a uh, sheep pasture. Uh, we want to expand our alpaca pasture into this area, and this is the approach that I've been taking in our in our woods, um, back half the property, and now in here. Uh, I take the LV400. It's a 2,4-D herbicide, and uh, once I cut the I've got a steel FS90 that I've been using with the blade on it to cut through um, and get these stumps. Could get them closer to the ground here, but I uh, wanted to see where I had just cut. So then I come back in, and what I've done is I take it, and I know it says to, uh, I know it says um, to add water to it. It's a, it's a concentrate, but I like to hear the buckthorn scream. I put a little bit of uh, uh, whatever your favorite. Um, food coloring is in there and just a couple of paint brushes stain brush works real well too and then just go around right on the stumps and when you got a lot to do like like I've been working on with it really helps having that uh, that food coloring on there because then you can tell where you've been <laughs> and uh, again I've just been clearing all this and uh, stacking up piles and, and working through here and it's there's a lot of little stumps and you get lost real quick so I've just been taking this approach cut them real close within within an hour or two I'm out here uh, just dabbing the LV 400 straight on the stump and it's been my experience that they don't come back so the reason I left these up a little little high and didn't cut them too close to the ground is uh, my plan is is to leave them a little higher so I can see see where they are and then once I'm sure they're dead like good and dead then I'll come back and probably zip them closer to the ground so that's the approach hope it helps good luck fighting this stuff it's horrible another one the reason I'm out here in March and April when I like to do this is those are the months when the sap is running down into the root so it's actually going to take this uh, LV400 and suck it down into the root. If you try to do this in like May, June, July when the sap is running up, all it's going to do is uh, is push this stuff. It's not it's not going to soak into the root. It's just going to sit on the surface. And uh, anyone who has cut these things in the summer months knows that uh, they come back with a vengeance. So I like to be out here. Uh, if we get a warm winter, I like to even do it during the winter. But uh, but yeah, April, uh, March, April time frame is pretty good. And then what I don't get, I just let grow for the summer and attack it later. So there's another one that uh, is going down. And uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's bonfires looking pretty good.